Hello, it's Ashton. And it is John. What up, guys? We're back with, you guessed it, another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... Uh, the Graham Norton Show 2010, Joan, Ro Joan Rivers. Um, <laughs> this is by the channel Day Haas. Yes, go and subscribe. The link will be down below in the description. Mm -hmm. Very important to support the channels that you love. This was a suggestion for Rom. Um, Gregularity, thank you so much. Hey guys, I'd love to see you react to Joanne Rivers, rest in peace, on the Graham Norton Show. One of the best comedians of all time. Um, even Johnny Knoxville practically worships her in this clip. That is when awesome. When did she pass away? I didn't know she did either. That's sad. Wasn't she one of the ladies that was known for having like tons of cosmetic or like Botox and stuff? That I could I be, but I'd hate to say that. Can you go? Be... Well, no, but like it's the face, you know, it's what you, whatever, I don't know. She must have just passed away recently because... Um, she died in oh. 2014, so it's not too recent. It's five years ago, but still. Yeah, she has had a lot of work done on her face, you can tell. Yeah. But that's just, you know, I'm not saying anything bad, but I'm just saying, like, you can, you can recognize her because of that. Like, that's, like, she has that look to her face. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you can tell. That's sad. Um, thank you so much for the support, man. Do appreciate it. But this is an 18-minute video, a 16-minute and 38-second video. So we're just going to do the first 10 as from Zay Rules. You guys can also help support the channel. Click on that link down below in the description. If you throw it down through Streamlabs, we're going to let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include video, link, title, your email. And let's get to that video. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Yeah, no. I'm saying... <laughs> He's the only one enjoying it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Oh my god. Whose idea was. That's <laughs> totally what it looks like, too. Uh, there. Uh, well, well done for doing it. Thank well done you. for doing it. And uh, very quickly, now, Joan, because I know you do a lot of work for uh, Princess, the Princess Trust. I'm, I'm very into you're all kinds of chairs. Oh. I am national chairwoman. I might as well just go for this now. And there's a thing for older people that don't have sex anymore. Oh, yes. Which you two wouldn't. Well, you know. Uh, damn. Old people that can't get out of the house. It's called Feels on Wheels. And um, <laughs> we come by once or twice a month and ring somebody's bell and just jerk them off. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Beautiful show. Charity work. I don't know if I'd be down for that. It's <laughs> funny as hell. It does you good. You give too much, Joe. You give too much. <laughs> you give too much. To uh, Joan Rivers. Oh, dear. And this spectacular... I mean, I can't gush enough about this documentary. It's uh, Joan Rivers, A Piece of Work. And it's just... Well, it's had the most phenomenal reviews. Yeah. It's just incredibly revealing. Well, just, I tell you what, this will just give you a, an idea. This is, I think, you celebrating a birthday. We've got a... A little clip. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Age? It's the one mountain that you can't overcome. Um, she was how old when she died? I she was 75 right there. Did you keep that page up? Or did <laughs> you close it? She was 33 to 14. Oh, Would that wow. be... She'd, um, oh. 67 plus so 14. She, she would have been about. 81. Yeah? Is yeah. that what the math would be? Yeah. But that's not a bad age to die, but she looked young. She like, definitely looked a lot But that's because that. she had a lot of work done on her face. But, dude, if I had the money and I was True that. old, I'd do the same shit. I don't care what anyone else thinks. She's just telling them all to stop, too, because it's her birthday. It's like, she, God, she looks good, though, at that age. Mm-hmm. It's a youth society, and uh, nobody wants you. You're too old, you're too old, you're too old. If one work, woman comedian comes up and says to me, you opened the doors for me, and you want to say, go fuck yourself. I'm still the doors. Thank you very well. It's just, everyone keeps saying, what's it about? And it's about show business, but it's about survival at any cost. And people have seen it two or three times, not because of me, but because they see themselves having to continue. 
Yeah, and it, honestly, I can't, it's just brilliant. It is on More 4 on the 9th of November, uh, but also will be available shortly on DVD. Yeah. And it is really, kind of, it's no holes barred. It's incredibly revealing. I mean, even that birthday thing, I've never dared ask you on the show. Well. I mean, <laughs> no, well, like, how, how, so now, how old are you now? Uh, I'm 77. And, uh, oh, don't, uh, they, they How old does she look to you? She doesn't look even close to that old, no. She looks like she is, you know, but you can tell she's had s whatever. Um, but she looks 50, maybe? Maybe, But yeah. it's hard because you can tell she's had Botox and stuff, and her hair is completely, like, not gray or white. It's blonde. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in her style, she's all hip and stuff, but... She looks so young, so mm -hmm. I would have been like, D I never thought, I thought she was, I thought she was decent, like, not, not, uh, like, super young, but I thought she was decently young, like, yeah. maybe 50 or something. I didn't know she died. I didn't know she died either. I bet, oh, don't, don't, that is, all that, I think they applaud because they know they're going to live longer than me. You know, they go, oh, good. She looks sick, really good. In New York, they plucks. That means there'll be a new apartment on the market soon. <laughs> I hate when people say, like, uh, oh, they're 77 years young. I met Vanessa, uh, Vanessa Feltz, oh, and yeah. she said to me, here's Joan, she's 77 years young, and I want to say, and here's Vanessa, and she's 350 pounds thin. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> You're fucking savage. It's true, though. It's kind of dumb. Age sucks, and you have to face it. And you have these... I've been on this show with some of these older women that still try to look good. No yeah. names, Goldie Hawn. And, and <laughs> she's my friend, and she says to me, would you believe I got a grown-up daughter? And you go, yes! <laughs> <laughs> lower your skirt, your nipples are showing. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. There goes the Goldie Hawn booking. Now, Goldie Hawn died, I thought, a long time ago. I thought she died in, like, 2011, 12. Well, this was in 2010, so that could be. Well, I suppose. We should look that up after this, too, because now I'm curious. But I thought she died. I liked her, too. <laughs> no, but it, age sucks if you got a face. <laughs> but it, it's interesting, because America is really so youth obsessed i mean how oh. and, and, and in the film you show you know kind of that it is hard for a woman of your age to get the job it's beyond difficult the only jobs really left now for women unless they get friendly with people to do films <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the only jobs left are really commercials i just thank god my i made my yearly nut this year on a, a product called girly which is for dry vagina and it's um, <laughs> is it here yet? Well, anyone knows the heartbreak of dry vagina. Is <laughs> my vagina dry? I was perfect. No, it's not. Cattle's follow me home. <laughs> like, what the Three fuck? Jewish men are trying to rent my uterus instead of going to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Oh. But, and there's, but thank God for these commercials. There's one called an, uh, uh, Zestra. Has that come here yet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> women's uh, Viagra. Has that happened He's yet? like, I'm not in. It's women's Viagra. Not talking about it. And uh, they have this big discussion with me. Should they make it in pill form? This is honest to God truth. It was in the newspapers. Pill form or cream because they didn't know which would do better and they finally decide these idiots will do it in cream because if it's in pill form in a bar a man can drop it in a woman's drink and she won't know it but if you're in a bar and a guy goes so where you from <laughs> <laughs> that's true though that's what it's like <laughs> smart thinking for that commercial too. <laughs> now, your daughter, your daughter Melissa, Melissa. Uh, she's in the movie and obviously famously it's been very public that you've had quite a 
a checkered relationship we have. over the years. Yes. Uh, so, how are things now? Is uh, everything good now? You know, we went through a lot. My husband committed suicide, which is in the, the film. And so. we had, we we're very strange. Now we're very close. We're doing a show together, as a matter of fact. But we, we do, we're doing this, um, you know, I, I do fashion police and all that stuff yeah, yeah. here. But uh, we're doing this thing where I move in with her. And all her friends come <laughs> over. And that's hard. Generationally, you know, I don't know. If your mother gets your friends or not, I and mean, she's friendly with uh, uh, the one with the big stupid lips, uh, uh, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> oh, damn. Big stupid lips. She conquers those children. Ugh. 165 children. Don't touch me. It's like, like, <laughs> Holy shit. Sits there and they're so. Well, you've had them on the show and these kind of pretentious, you know what I mean? They believe so much in, oh, Joan, uh, we don't know which children are adopted and we don't which, know which are ours personally. They're all the same. The children don't know they're adopted. They're our ours. Isn't that right, Billy and Sally and Jimmy and little Magumba? Isn't that right? Magumba. <laughs> This is pretty good. <laughs> These are Melissa's friends, and I try to be nice. I try, I try not to say anything, but you want to go, Melissa, I can't stand these people. You know? But it is funny. That, I mean, you're, you're so she's on, like, live, or, well, she's on TV saying that. Did she just not give a shit that they, Fuck no, dude, once knew? you get older, you become a badass, kind of, with just what you say. I, I, I can't believe she don't like them. Zero shit's given. Hmm. Joan, but you are her mother. I mean, that's yes. the weird thing. That, you know, Joan Rivers is, is her mother. Which, you know, that's, that's, so that's, that's going to shape a life. It has. I mean, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult for her. Because, Johnny, your dad, I mean, he I mean, he wasn't Joan Rivers. He doesn't want, he doesn't look like he wants to be there at all. He's like, <laughs> he, did you notice that? Uh-uh. The way he, like, reacts, like, he's not having anything to do with the conversation. When he mentions him, he looks over, like, what? It's difficult for her. Because, Johnny, your dad, I mean, he, I mean, he wasn't Joan Rivers, but he was quite out there, your dad, in terms of forming your practical joking thing. I don't know how I'm supposed to follow that. I should <laughs> <I, I, I, laughs> get something out of the way real quick. Yes. Oh, Joan. Oh, Joan, <laughs> oh, Joan. Joan, Joan. What did your dad do? <laughs> uh, my dad was, you know, I, he was a big practical joker, and that's, he's my idol, and uh, he, had, he had a tire company, and he would, he would prank all his workers. He would make, <laughs> make them laxative milkshakes. And, uh, that is funny as hell. Send them letters from the VD clinic. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a rubber stamp, VD clinic, and saying they had contracted a venereal disease. You have to list your last ten partners. Signed, Dr. Harlan C. Titmore. <laughs> there was almost a couple of divorces over that horrible letter. But the thing he did to you, though. That oh, right, right, right. I was in, you know, I was graduating high school, and I was sleeping on the couch. And I felt something go whoop, right through my lips, and I look up, and Dad acts like he's zipping his pants. <laughs> <laughs> he would take a hot dog and heat it like 10 seconds in the microwave to get it. Dude, that's funny as hell. Yeah, and then he would just laugh, and like he, he was his own biggest fan. He would laugh. It's <laughs> <laughs> a funny thing to do. <laughs> that is. Oh. Because your mother, your mother, I mean, she, again, it, it's one of the, how do we follow that? But your mother, she, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Mrs. Mrs. Tate is watching at home going, I've never done anything like that. But she's a funny woman. My, my mom is, my, yeah, my mom is funny. She, well, I mean, I don't know if this is funny. I think it's possibly um, neglectful. But um, <laughs> when I was little, in an argument, I threw something at my mum, which is, which is obviously terrible, and I ran away. I ran out of the room. And when I came back into the room, my mum was lying on the floor. And <laughs> when I came closer, clearly I'd cut her head. Or was it tomato ketchup? <laughs> ketchup on her head. To, to we have to do that to Zoe. When I told her today, <laughs> I, I she said, throws I'm a fit. Graham Norton show and she said well I hope you and the last time I was on here I was on here with Jimmy Carr and 50 Cent love him 50 and she Cent. said to me well That's I hope your language is better than it was last time because <laughs> I swore uh, you know forgive me and she said you you said the f word 
and that rapping boy sitting next to you looked disgusted. <laughs> Damn. She's obviously not that familiar with 50 Cent's work. That's what I said. His oof. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that she's bothered by swearing. Cause, okay. Cause, oh, don't. <laughs> We talked about this the last time because uh, Catherine has a lot of catchphrases, and you, you meet her, and then that's what you, you suddenly get running about. But uh, you know, because Nan is so sweary, how does she cope yeah. with, with sweary Nan? You know, she doesn't mind. All the way over ten minutes, guys. Beautiful, dude. She's funny as hell. They, they all are, though, and I totally want to do that prank to Zoe now. When she's yeah, like <clears throat> if she hits us or something. Like if she's just throwing a fit and she's like, because she does sometimes with her temper. She's a kid to do something like that, though. Oh my god. Well, so she doesn't really um, throw things at us or anything. She don't do that ever. But Every sometimes... once in a while she'll get mad. Though. No, she doesn't throw things at us. But she'll come up to us and be like, mm, like if she wants to hit us. Remember? She does it. She's like, mm. It's so cute. And then sometimes she'll hit, but she doesn't hit hard. But no. it'd be just funny to do that to her. Just throw myself across the room. Have some ketchup ready already. Just, oh, why would you do that to me? Well, okay, if you have it ready already, like, you gotta plan this out. Y y then you're gonna like basically trigger this episode. <laughs> this episode? <laughs> no, I gotta keep it ready at all times at one certain part of the room. Some old ketchup just sitting That's there. That's nasty. Waiting for her to try at some point in this room and then fly as soon as she hits me no matter Speaking how, of what ketchup, angle. Speaking of ketchup, do you remember the Whataburger spicy ketchup? Dude, oh my god. Okay, well, the show though, <laughs> the show. Yeah, she she was hella funny. Like rest in peace. Like I know. I didn't know she died. That's sad. Hey, look up uh, Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. I always thought she was really pretty when she was young. She's not dead. She's not. No. Nope. Oh. No, she's still uh, she's still around. You know what? I think I'm thinking of somebody. Yeah, I'm thinking of someone else. I got it. No. The right person? Yeah, I'm thinking of somebody else. Okay. I'm an idiot. I knew who Goldie Hawn was for some reason. I was thinking of, um, uh, what is her name? It's not one of the Golden Girls, is it? Huh? It's not one What's of the, the Golden girl's Girls. What's the girl's name? Fawcett or whatever? Uh, Fawcett? Her, yeah, that's her last name. Farrah Fawcett. Farrah yeah, Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett is who I was thinking of. Is that because... Why is that? Why am I connecting these two together? I can't remember. <laughs> You're the only one that can tell us that, hon. Why are you connecting them together? I saw the movie with... I don't know. Why am I connecting these two together? Goldie Hawn and Farrah Fawcett. I don't know. I can't remember. Goldie Hawn's daughter is Kate Hudson. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, weird. I didn't know that either. Um, New things learned. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I'm connecting them. It's something I saw maybe or I don't know but I'm connecting them somehow and if you you know their relation then let me know because I know Farrah Fawcett she died in 2009 so yeah she's born in Corpus Christi that's cool yeah it is for their pretty nice place I always thought she was super pretty but yeah um yeah that's sad I didn't know that she died in uh Joan Rivers and Rest in peace. I, yeah, rest in peace. She seemed super funny. Mm -hmm. Guys, go and subscribe to the channel. It is De Haas. If you like that video, the link will be down below in the description so you can get there easier. And peace. Out. Bye.